There are a lot of different ways to make money in Balloons Tower Defense, so we decided to take all of the best methods of making money and put them on a single tower. We created a tower that hopefully is going to make the most amount of money possible. This tower has 20 upgrades. That's right, it goes all the way up into a T20. I picked the base tower, the banana farm, because it's, it's the banana farm. It's, its whole purpose is making money, so I, you know, I, I was, just, I, I, I don't know what you guys want from me. So the first upgrade that we have for it is a banana farm, and then I decided to get increased production, and then monkey town, and those are the first three levels of it. So we're gonna throw this bad boy. We'll put it right there. This will be our money making man right there. So monkey town is the bottom upgrade. This thing, and all monkeys within the radius of the monkey town get extra cash per balloon pop. I should have put this right in the middle. That's what I gotta do. I'm putting it right in the middle. Right smack dab in the middle. So it looks like everything is going to make us some extra money. All right, I'm selling my free dart monkey. I can't believe I put it down and then sold it. Oh my gosh. So the next upgrade is Monkey City. Monkey City is the village upgrade that's right after it. Wait, am I gonna get free dart monkeys because of that? But Monkey City increased influence radius, cash generation in radius. And so that's an extra 15% cash generation in radius which is going to be very nice for us to have and hopefully be able to make us an insane amount of money we're already at two thousand dollars so it's made oh my goodness wait why is it making us so much money wait does it have why is it making money constantly monkey town increased production i don't know why does it have been it looks like it has benjamin siphon on it but it's making $2 every, like, balloon for some reason. It's get, it's just giving us money. Greater production is the next upgrade that we're gonna get for that, which should be very nice. So, shoot super hot attacks that do extra damage. I did not know they do extra damage. And they pop green balloons. I did not know that. I, I, I had no clue that was a, a thing. If I get a village, can I get a village and then right here and give it bigger radius? To get, there we go. Look, and this thing has the extra money making thing. So now I can put towers on like the outside area of that if I need be. So it's at greater production. The next upgrade is going to be valuable bananas. It's already made me $4,000. That's a lot of money. That is a big chunk of money that that's going to be given us. I could just get two ring of fires because like two ring of fires do seem pretty nice. But purple balloons are going to show up. And <laughs> green balloon just boop, 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 boop. Engineers seem pretty saucy here. And I want to get pin. And I want to get sprockets. That's what I want. Because these guys seem pretty good. So we have valuable bananas. Next is Benjamin. $800 a round. So at the end of every round, I should be getting $800. That's a lot of money. And I'm getting $31 every single time too. I don't know why it's giving me $31. But we take that. That's very nice. That is very, very nice. Plus the $800. We're big cruising right now with money. Get me Century Expert, and then I want another Engineer right up there. Next is Banana Plantation, which I'm very, very looking forward to. That should be getting us some money. And look at that. Nice $800 every round. That's so nice. Literally, we've only spent $1,000, and it's given us $15,000. All right, now it's at Banana Plantation. So it should be making us... Wait. It just, does it automatically, no, 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 no. I thought it was automatically connecting the bananas, but it is not. It's just making us as much as a banana plantation. Next is Merchant Man. So we're going to be making some, some Merchant Man upgrades. That's going to be very nice to have all of those extras. We do have to deal with a pesky Moab showing up. I think for that, I'll just get a sniper. I could just start buying upgrades for this because we're making so much money. It's made us $21,000. All right, I'm going to buy the upgrade. So now we have merchantmen, so that should be making us some more money at the end of every round. Yeah, so it's an extra $200. So we get $1,000 every round on top of all of the money it makes. And then now we're going to go ahead and upgrade and get favored trades, which is the upgrade of merchantmen. So we should be having that, and that'll be just giving us even more money. Oh my gosh, that was a lot of money. So wait, was that $1,500? I think that's what it was, $1,500. Next is Jungle Bounty. So this is the Druid ability for making money. Now, the whole point of Jungle's Bounty is you get more money based on the banana farms that are around it. So since we don't have any banana farms around it, it's not going to really make that much money. It's going to be like an extra $200, right? Like $240 or something. Yeah, it's not really that much, but it is nice just to have that. And it could be quite lucrative if there was a bunch of other banana farms around it but i decided to put it with all of my heroes or all my monkeys because that'll get us extra pops 
Elite Sniper. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh my gosh, Marketplace. Oh my gosh, that's exactly what I want. That's what I've been, that's what I've been looking for. Marketplace is going to be really nice because it's that cross path. So I don't have to, look, I shouldn't have to be able to. There we go. It just collects the bananas automatically now. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so nice. Look at that, $31, $31, $31, $31. Oh, that is so beautiful. And $1,500 at the end of every round as well. Can't forget about that. Next is XXXXL Trap. What? So now we just get, oh my gosh, because that does give you a ton of money. Once the balloons go through it and it is able to absorb them, you are going to be getting a ton of money with that. So we are going to be taking that. Next is Central Marketplace. This thing is making so much money. This thing is this thing is actually very much exceeding expectations of what I thought it was going to be when we ended up making it. So now we need... I mean, I could just buy the upgrade because we have so much money. Like, we have literally so much money. I can just go ahead. Central Marketplace. Boom. And then... The central marketplace should just be making us... Shouldn't that be pushing up the money that it makes? Should it be making more than just $31 now? I'm not entirely sure. Wait, no, central... Wait, wait. It's making $2,100. Central... Wait, wait. Let me look at something. Central marketplace. Yeah, that's central market. But for some reason, it's making $2,000 at the end of every round now. So it's like adding that on top of it. Wait, 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 wait. Was that 24? No, no, no. That's $2,400 at the end of every round. That is a lot of money, my friends. So now we can get the next upgrade, Banana Research Facility. So now how much money are we making? 631. What? Are you kidding me? That's so much money. Just boop, boop, boop. Look at our money. It's like flying up right now. Like actually flying up. We have so much. We have $71,000. We can just buy some stuff and never have to worry about anything ever again. And then, so we have a Permabrew Alchemist already. I could get an Inferno Ring, but I don't even know if that's necessary. That seems a little bit excessive. Grandmaster Ninja mixed with Alchemist is such a nasty combination. All right, next is Trade Empire. Oh, wait. So, the, yeah, this is the Banana Research Facility, which is, wait, $600 is a lot. That seems a little bit crazy, actually. All right, so now we got Trade Empire. And so Trade Empire is, should increase the amount of money we get at the end of the round. So we were making $2,400 at the end of every round, which is insane on its own. So let's see what it makes now. I'm trying to pay attention to this. That's why I have, I have the game slowed down so I can see just how much money we're going to make. Let's see what that is. $3,900? Oh my goodness. Okay, let's get Monkey Wall Street now. And then Monkey Nomics. Oh my gosh. So once we get Monkey Nomics, I think is that just the ability? Yeah, so that gives us the ability to just get $10,000 for free, basically. Wait, how much money did we get? All right, I want to pay attention. So these guys, let's see how well or how much money they get at the end of the round. And $8,400? That's ludicrous. That's, that is absolutely unfair. So it's at Monkeynomics right now. And then the last upgrade is Banana Central. So let's go ahead and get the last upgrade for it and see just how great it is. So Banana Central, is that $2,000? Wait, it's getting $2,131 constantly now. $2,000, $2,000, $2,000. Oh, it's already made $200,000. So we can get literally anything we want. Yeah, I can skip some rounds and look at how much money it makes. It's already $500,000. And I have the abilities too. So I can just call in like the elite sniper. Boom, $3,000. Yeah, now we can go ahead and get Ascended Shadow. We're making so much money actually. We already won. It's going to be like a tier 20. <laughs> seven? A tier seven Paragon? Goliath Doomshift, $864,000. All right, sure. We'll go ahead and buy it. What the heck? We have 62 free dart monkeys. That's a lot of free dart monkeys. Tier one? That's so bad. All right, is this? Please be above a tier two. Be like, okay, tier thirty-one. That's so nice to be able to have that. <laughs> Ultra Boost, our money-making guy. Maybe he'll make us even more money. Wait, no, I put him in the wrong spot. I'm so bad. That's not where I wanted him. Give me boat. Uh oh. Oh my gosh. Did you see how close that was? 
No! We lost! That's so sad. $4.7 million. That's a lot of money, friends. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you could, please subscribe to the channel and turn notifications on. 70% of people who watch my videos aren't actually subscribed. So if you've watched a couple videos, I would highly recommend you subscribe. We're trying every day to get epic new balloons, mods, and content out for you guys. So it would be appreciated if you guys are here to watch the videos when they come out. Thanks for being beautiful and awesome, and we'll see you guys tomorrow.